Hello guys, welcome to another video of Azure Data Bricks. In this video, we are going to discuss about compute. We'll be seeing how you can set up the compute and how you can use compute to run your notebooks. Computes are nothing but uh, the job clusters, you can say, where you can uh, run your workflow jobs. Okay, this compute is needed whenever you create a new notebook or uh, create a new SQL queries. And whenever you create a new workflow to run uh, your pipeline or run your workflow job. Okay, in last video, we had seen how uh, we had integrated this repository inside home directory or even in the repository. Okay, so let's go ahead in the compute and see how you can compute, uh, create the compute. Generally, uh, you can create compute or uh, by yourself or Databricks provide serverless compute as well. In that you don't need to do anything. Databricks will manage everything by itself. Whenever you need the job to run, it will go ahead and run the, run the job for you in the serverless. You don't need to auto upgrade as well. This will, or that will be taken care of by Databricks itself, okay? Whenever that need auto scaling, this will scale by itself. And uh, basically you don't need to manage the infra for that uh, compute. Databricks will take care of that. But if you create this compute from here, you will have to manage everything by yourself. Okay. So if you go to compute here by going to compute, you can uh, create the computes. You can click on create compute. If you want to create uh, your personal compute, you can uh, select this create with personal compute and click on create compute. Or you can click on this shared compute. And uh, by that you will be able to create the shared compute cluster. Okay, so that everybody or all the users inside your Databricks can use that compute to run their workflow job. Okay, if you are creating the personal, then you will be able to create only personal jobs. You can create the unrestricted as well so that uh, everybody in the Databricks can run or can use this compute cluster to run their jobs. Okay, let's now create one shared compute cluster. You can change the name. Suppose you want to use this name shared cluster the policy is shared compute since we are creating the shared cluster performance this is the databricks runtime version you'll have to select uh, generally uh, you should be selecting the lts version because this is the uh, most upgraded or, or stable version you can say inside the production if you are using uh, development QA environment, you can select these uh, as well. But uh, 15.4 is the latest LTS version. So make sure you are selecting this for your production instances or even uh, for dev or QA instances as well. Okay. You can select this huge photon acceleration. If you click on this eye, you get this. Uh, Details, photo, photon accelerates modern Apache Spark workloads, reducing your total cost per workload. So make sure you are selecting this. Now the next is worker type. What will be the configuration of the worker or basically you can see agent which will be created and running uh, in background for this job cluster to run smoothly. Okay. This you can create based on your requirement. If your requirement uh, is to uh, create for higher configuration, you can go for memory optimized SQ as well. But for mostly in case of general purpose or normal workloads, you can keep this as default. That is standard DS4 V2. You can select the lower configuration as well, like 14 GB memory, 16 GB memory, Okay, but for now we are keeping this as default. So when you set this or create this job cluster, uh, that will have this SKU. Okay, so this uh, minimum worker and max maximum worker, you can uh, select here 
add here so that the the job cluster will have these many workers running at once okay so make sure you are selecting this correctly or based on the requirement okay you can select the spot instances so that if spot instances are available uh, that will choose the or azure or whenever you are creating this cluster that is in aws or azure this job cluster will consider spot instances as well if you click on this i button you will get more detail use spot instances to save cost if spot instances are evicted due to unavailability on demand instances will be deployed to replace evicted instances okay so you can check this to save the cost so that whenever uh, spot instances are available they will be used for your this shared cluster okay driver type you can select this if this can be same as worker type as well or you can select uh, this different let's keep the driver type same as worker okay you can select this uh, option to terminate this job after suppose you want to terminate after some 30 minutes of inactivity or one day of inactivity to save the cost you can check this box okay you can add the tags here as well key and value and in the advanced option you uh, if you have some environment variables to use for this job cluster you can uh, provide that you can uh, choose the logging path as well if you want to uh, attach volumes and all you can select it for logging if you want to run some init script before this shared cluster is set up you can run the init scripts as well okay now you get the summary of your list like uh, this will be created uh, with 2 and 10 min and max workers this is the configuration this is the driver this is run time and all the options enable something like this if you click on create compute one compute with the configuration which you have provided will be created okay you can see this is uh, running for now and it will take some time to create the compute if you now go to compute this shared cluster compute will be shown here you will be seeing all the details source creator how many notebooks this uh, compute has been running if you click from here you can stop and start as well from here you can terminate and when this is terminated terminated you get the start button here so that before running the job you can start this compute and run the run your job inside this from here you can clone it you can delete or you can edit permissions as well by selecting it you will be able to edit the compute as well okay if you now go to workspace or uh, suppose you want to create some new notebook and this is a uh, notebook and you added anything whatever you want from here you can select your instance you can uh, either use serverless or you can use your compute even from serverless which i had shown you that you'll be able to run your jobs you can see now this is uh, connected with serverless and uh, of course this is running at the moment because uh, i mean this is still being created here in the compute this is still being created once this is done uh, you will be able to select this here inside in the workflow or in the workspace suppose this is my notebook you added any code you you are connected to this serverless at the moment this is nothing but the compute provided by uh, databricks itself 
and you can click on run all so that this uh, notebook will be running inside this serverless compute okay once this is completed uh, running you will be able to show output directly here inside the notebook okay let's go to compute again and see if this has been created this is still running generally it takes some uh, it will take some time to create the cluster you can uh, create the job compute as well we'll be able to create the sql where high says to run your sql queries as well inside the databricks this is a serverless starter warehouse you get by default uh, you can select the serverless uh, warehouse whenever you are running the queries or you, you you can create one by default or you can create uh, one by yourself as well like how we created the compute job compute to run our notebooks or run our queries okay if you go to this notebook now so see uh, we'll be able to use this as well if you select it click on confirm this will be selected but since this is starting at the moment you can see this is starting that's why this is still uh, running once this is completed you will be able to select this and run your notebook inside this cluster okay so we seen how you can create the compute inside the databricks and how you can run your notebooks inside or using that compute or using that uh, job cluster inside the databricks that's it from this video if you liked it please like and subscribe my channel if you have any feedback or suggestions please let me know in the comments thanks for watching